Hey, what's going on everyone? All right, this one's exciting. Uh, we are at the Neon Museum. Uh, they do not allow video inside, uh, so this is gonna be a lot of photos. Uh, we are going to the Tim Burton exhibit. It's a couple of different things. Uh, we're gonna look at some crazy Tim Burton stuff, then there's some sort of like projection experience that we got tickets for. So that's what this is about. The Tim Burton experience at the Neon Museum. Let's do this. Well, no, we gotta check, oh, please check bags here. Big bags only, it says. Oh. Okay, so small bags, I guess we can take. All right, gang, so we're checked in. I got my my fancy wristbands here. Do you have a green and a blue? Sweet. We got green and blue. So, Neon Museum is like right there. Uh, I want to say, was it $30 to get in uh, for the general admission thing? And then it was an additional $24 for the add-on brilliance, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I'm definitely going to let you know. Uh, they were very strict in reinforcing and telling us that there is no video inside, nothing with a flash. Only still photos, no streaming. So, uh, we'll see what this thing's like. It's gonna be fun. Thank you. All right, here we go. The Tim Burton experience at the Neon Museum. Let the photos begin. It's a Jeff exclamation point voiceover edition. When I went to the Neon Museum in Las Vegas for the Tim Burton experience, Lost Vegas, they were very strict on their filming policy. They made me check my camera before I went into the exhibit. They allowed still photos, but they had someone checking every 20, 40 feet or so to make sure the photos you're taking were still and not the moving kind. So let's get into the museum. As soon as you enter the Neon Museum, you're greeted with a few sketches that's gonna represent some of the items you're about to see, as well as this sign that's in the words of Tim Burton himself. Growing up in Los Angeles, my family took part in many a weekend in Vegas. While my dad bet on sports and my mom took on the slots with grandma, I wandered around an amazing otherworldly place. Everything felt larger than life in Las Vegas. One of my closest memories as a child was gazing up at the brightly colored seahorse in the pool at the dunes towering above me and spewing elegant streams of water from their mouths. Vegas was where I witnessed a woman turned into a gorilla before my very eyes. It was where, as a teenager, I would often drive out for a cheap weekend. Vegas used to be cheap. I was always a loner, and it was a good place to be alone. I once stayed at the Aladdin when the casino and the restaurant were closed down, but they still rented out a few rooms. I must have been the only one in the whole place. I remember staring down the empty hallways. The lights were dim. I felt like I was in The Shining. These strange, dreamlike memories I have of Las Vegas has inspired me artistically throughout my career. In my life, I experienced Vegas in all its forms. Filming the demolition of the Landmark Hotel for Mars Attacks was one of the most powerful moments of my life. I am forever haunted by the image of the falling building. Then the sands, then the old Aladdin came down not long after that, and with each timepiece of Vegas I knew passed on. In the early 90s, I snuck into the old Yesco sign boneyard for the first time. The emotions of this experience is what Las Vegas is about for me paying homage to the particular beautiful past of the city. I want visitors to the Neon Museum to see Vegas through my eyes. Larger than life, colorful, shocking, charming, and strange. A place where everyday rules seem not to apply. Unusual, magic, and bizarre things were always possible here, and I hope that this show We'll revive a bit of that for you all. Tim Burton. So as you're wandering around the Neon Museum in their boneyard, periodically hidden in different areas are nods to Tim Burton, such as the flying UFOs, whatever this thing is. All right, this made me so happy seeing the Beetle Guy sign. 
Holy cow, guys, I am such a huge Beetlejuice fan, and really, it really made me happy. So much so, here's the photo I took. You can see the happy expression I have on my face. And then little neon uh, signs are up. Uh, you can read that one there. But it kind of continued. It's, it's very Tim Burton. It's just odd. Just everything is very odd. But once you start learning his history and uh, being from Las Vegas and you start looking at the plant life in Vegas and the buildings, you kind of start seeing his inspirations throughout the entire city. But I love the oddity of all of this. It all made me very happy. But this is the highlight of the whole exhibit right here. The Aliens from Mars Attacks. I love this movie, Mars Attacks, so much, and it made me so happy to see these guys. I probably took a million photos with them. And in fact, here's a photo of me, and of course, they're attacking me right here. Now it's time for the true Tim Burton Las Vegas experience. And yes, this little dome, this itty bitty dome, was the full experience. Uh, the gentleman you see there on the right, that was the entrance of the attraction. The opposite side was the exit. Now, once you enter this dome, you're immediately greeted with this magnificent sight. It was absolutely beautiful. That is on the ceiling. It is a spinning carousel of Tim Burton characters. Now, as you walk down the hall, those are very, very tiny windows that you actually had to bend down to look into. And once you looked into it, it had moving images. If you guys remember those old, like, little 3D cards that used to bend back and forth, that's what the images kind of look like. And here are some still photos to give you an idea of what was in there. Now, this is probably my favorite right here. The slot machine, head comes on, then money comes out. Oh, and there I am, because I absolutely loved that look on the ceiling. So after we finished doing that experience, we took some photos with some friends and family and then went outside because we did an upcharge experience called the Brilliant. Uh, but as we're in the waiting area, we take a look in the parking lot and there's this just this weird building with some weird signage up front. So we went up a little closer, we talked to the person out front and they said it's part of the Tim Burton experience and they're calling it interactive karaoke. So, of course, we had to see what it was like, and basically you enter this dark room, and if you see those two little lights up front, you put your mouth up in those lights, and there's a little camera that then projects your mouth onto that little Tim Burton character in front of you as music is playing, and you can sing along with weird things happening in the background. So next we did the Upcharge Brilliance Experience, where they take you into a section of some of the old signs, and as soon as you enter in the center, you have these giant towers. And inside that tower are projectors. So this is a projection mapping show. So there's an example of that star sign you saw earlier, but now with the projection mapping on it. This is kind of a hard thing to explain uh, without showing you video of what projection mapping is if you've never seen it. Now this was a $25 upcharge to experience it. And if you've never seen projection mapping, that is completely worth the price. But if you're like me and experience projection mapping in a, a theme park pretty much every single day, uh, it wasn't quite worth the uh, $25 to do it. So let's take a look at these little aliens again because they make me so happy. Overall, the Tim Burton experience lost Vegas at the Neon Museum in Las Vegas. Yeah, uh, I wasn't quite impressed. Uh, it was fun. I got to hang out with some family and some friends. We got some great photos. But being the Tim Burton fan that I am, it just wasn't what I was hoping for. It lacked a lot. And if it's not a great reason to go to Las Vegas just to go to this exhibit, uh, it's a great little... Oh, we have a few hours. What are we going to do? Yeah, then that becomes worth it. So anyways, that's what I got for you today. I hope you enjoy this episode of Jeff! Uh, make sure you like it. Give it a nice little thumbs up. And uh, subscribe. I got more videos coming out and some great trips coming up. All right, everyone. Take care.
Bye.